Hi guys. So I'm going to explain the way we grew this maize. So me and my mom and my brother, we started by planting this maize. Then after that, we didn't add any chemical fertilizer. We just added manure. Then after that, we put sun hemp in the lines in the middle. Then after that, it grew. And this is how it turns out. Mm, okay. So what can you say about growing maize without fertilizer? Is it possible? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to say that if you use fertilizer, mm -hmm. not the chemical one, mm -hmm. the maize just grows well. But if you use the chemical one, sometimes mm -hmm. you have problems. Okay. What problems do, do you have? Does it have an effect on the soils or anything? Uh, sometimes it does. Okay. So what do you encourage people now? I'm going to encourage people that do not use chemical fertilizer but use manure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank Hi. you. Bye. Oh, so can I do Oh, I'm going to Fifty quachagamigabnigamigabumai. Hi everyone, my name is Susan. The nest farmer are here at Charles Farm, Charles Agro Innovations. So we've had a lot of discussions on the small scale farmers groups concerning the the grains vis-a-vis uh, -vis seed uh, for cereals and legumes, especially with the uh, focus now and uh, a migration towards organic farming. Uh, so I want to show you uh, some of the grains or seed, as I, I would call it, in my storeroom. Um, these I've collected over time uh, from friends and uh, colleagues uh, just through the, the network on uh, small-scale farmers. And I must say it has really helped me. So uh, right now, I'm going to show you some of the seeds or the grains that I have. Okay, so... Um, to start with, on the legumes that we look at and the trees that help to fix nitrogen. So, uh, this is, this is jack beans, okay? This is jack beans. It's, it's white. It grows as a, as a small shrub. Okay, we've got some, uh, seeds in here. This is, this is velvet beans. Okay, so velvet beans is like this. So this one is used for fodder. It's also helpful in uh, fixing nitrogen in our soils. Uh, it helps cover the, the ground such that even in times when you have uh, uh, winds, rains, we don't have a lot of soil erosion. And then even the leaves as they fall to the ground, they help also to to mulch and, and to add some manure in the in the ground. Over here, I've got some sun hemp, okay? So this is sun hemp, still cleaning it up. Sun hemp is very good. Uh, last season, I used sun hemp to intercrop with my maize. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, this year, the sun hemp that we planted in our field has actually helped to add some, some nutrients in the soil. Because for us here, we did plant our maize organically. We didn't use any synthetic fertilizers. So we used these uh, nitrogen-fixing soils and cover crops to manage the, the crops. Okay. Here I have the Luciana seeds, which I'm gathering now. So these are the Luciana seeds. So as small plants, uh, these can be used for fodder. Even as the leaves, they can be used for fodder. Uh, it's also very good in uh, fixing nutrients in the soil. Accompanying these, I've got some moringa seeds here, which I'm yet to 
to get from those uh, shells. Among cereals, I have uh, millet. This is millet. So whenever I do get seed, even when I've planted, even when I've planted, harvested, I ensure that I do not uh, sell off all the seed. I remain with something that I can uh, replant for the next uh, seasons or the next cycles. So what we have here, this is millet. Okay, but this one is not being sold. We're going to plant so that we can have some more. Okay, then over here, I'm gathering some pigeon pea, uh, yet to be cleaned as well, and still collecting some more. So with pigeon peas, this is a very good plant, uh, which actually flowers and pods throughout the year. For as long as you're just watering it, you'll continue having uh, uh, seeds that you can actually be replanting. For the legumes themselves, uh, these are, are eaten uh, raw as fresh. You can put them in your salads, okay, even in your in your in, in your soups. Very nice and tasty. Okay. Uh, besides that, uh, the usual uh, colored maize that we have. This is the maroon. We're just remaining with a bit of it, okay, and also. Uh, the other colored maize that we have is this variety here. We can see a lot of uh, stripes on this one. And we also have popcorns. We have uh, two varieties here. We have the lasalasa and uh, this other common one that we have. So I thought of sharing with you. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm <laughs> 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 soft day. But I think porridge is about a maning. Hello, evening farmers. 
Uh -huh. This is Nshima made out of popcorn. Okay, very nice. Wow. Looks delicious. Delicious sauce. I'm sure the children will love this. Mama wana valu yando bay yanda. Bye, sure. Okay, yeah, what a man, dear. Why you want to?